Hi everybody, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Oh my goodness, what a day. Happy Thursday. Um, so I have here a little Tatum, uh, my little tater bug, uh, my uh, new baby. Uh, she is the, um, uh, she's a full body silicone. She is a uh, Caden uh, by Blair Taylor. She's the Caden bonus baby. So, um, little Missy has all of her, um, all of the bells and whistles, so to speak, um, which includes the drink and wet, which I haven't tried yet. I talked with you all about it in, um, uh, one of my videos and, um, you know, the, you know, my like fears and da, 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 but you know, I said that it was something I was definitely going to be using. So, um, this is going to be my first, uh, try at it. So, and then I'm going to talk about, oh my gosh, how freezing it is here and I, why I needed a baby break, um, today. Uh, so little Miss Taterbug here is, um, in this, uh, beautiful, uh, fleece, gown with a lamb on it it's white um and it's just you know it's one of those sleep sacks um let me just take my slippers off so uh it she's so she's warm um but it is pretty warm up here so i'm just gonna let her feet out she seems to like that um when i when i do that um just so y'all can you know, see a little bit more of her. Um, it's always nice <laughs> on the silicones too. And I'm going to, you know, seeming I have not used the drink and wet, I want to kind of, you know, be able to feel. So um, we're going to do that. And let's see. Are you hungry, baby girl? Oh my goodness. So um, I... I open this, uh, the nipple on this a little more, um, just with a, uh, a, a nice sharp hair cutting scissor. I gave it a little extra snip because it, it's the like first flow and it definitely did. It doesn't feel like it was gonna do anything, um, you know, like go down fast enough, but we shall we shall see. Here we go, baby girl. Oh my goodness. It's a first. It's a first. So, let's see if we're getting, getting anywhere. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing bubbles. I'll let y'all get a close-up look at that. I don't know if she's there. We go. You focus. Look at that. Isn't that just amazing how <laughs> how that looks? Oh my gosh, that is the coolest. Oh my goodness. So, um it is I don't know, around 10 degrees here. And I know for a lot of you it is colder. Um but for here that is pretty cold. <laughs> Um, cold enough where my car would not start this morning. My van, um, well, it's still not started. Um, uh, my landlord happened to be here, so I was able to have him try to give me a jump. Well, first, my hood was frozen shut, and it took a good half hour to get the, um, to get the hood open. So, <laughs> That was just like unbelievable, um, and nothing seems to be working. So I, it's you know the battery just doesn't seem to be taking a charge. It just may be that freezing. Um, maybe my battery is just not that good. It's pretty new, but you know it's probably not the best kind of battery. I don't know. Something my husband's gonna have to deal with, and we'll, then we had an issue with the oil. I, I it's just. This cold brings all kinds of, and my neighbor across the street came over and was asking for my landlord's help because their, their oil burner, I don't know if they got it right. I don't even know because I was just, 
between freezing my butt off outside and then coming in here and on the phone. And I discovered this because Gabe, ironically, and he rarely misses the bus, um, but I think I just forgot to set my alarm last night and he missed the bus this morning. So I was going out to, you know, start the car to let it warm up and bring him to school and discover this. And of course, you know, I had appointments today and things and my daughter had texted me and asked if I could get her to her to an appointment also later. And my other daughter had an appointment that we were supposed to be at. So like nothing got done and my car is out there frozen so let's see it gives you a burp and see if oh see this is not going down this is what i was wondering might happen so i think i'm gonna have to give this open this um this nipple more because um i've never attempted to to feed a, a silicon before, but just my common sense is telling me, you know, this is the, you know, when you buy bottles, you, you know, it's like, you know, the first stage, which there's just like a little, you know, it's a, it's a, you know, just like a little drip. It's not a heavy, you know, flow. Um, there's different flows on nipples put it that way on bottles that I do know from having kids and this is the first one and it's probably just not um you know wasn't enough um and she does have a partial open mouth so it might not be giving it quite enough pull um let's see we'll see now how she does I mean there was but plenty of bubbles coming but it just was didn't go down at all when I went to burp her so let's see how you do now with that frustrating you you couldn't get anything out no you couldn't get anything out baby girl I'm sorry let's see if this is better let's see if this is better so I decided that I'm gonna get the umpteenth million things I have to get done inside today I mean I have you know plenty plenty uh that needs to be done in here um that's for sure so I'm just gonna work on getting that stuff done but I said I need a baby break and I figured I've be just been itching to do this um so I figured I would do you know share with you all my first feeding with her we'll see how this goes. I wanted to make it a quick video. It's already seven minutes long. So um, comment below. Let me know um, what the climate is like in your area. Um, and if you are in um, freezing or sub freezing temperatures, um, how is that affecting, you know, <laughs> is your <laughs> is your car, your car is running? Are you like, is anybody have anything I can't imagine I'm like it's so cold here like the car is frozen and not even working like I can't even imagine where it's colder like I know um you know like Renee uh Annie Kimberly um and I think there's you know uh, several of you all like out in the like Chicago area you know I, I it you guys are like sub zero. I can't even imagine if it's this cold here and nothing's running right and um you know it's just so hard to handle, you know, being out there for any length of time. I can only imagine what it's like in other you know areas. So like I said, I had Baby girl dressed accordingly. Um, she looks so cute and snuggly. I mean, I like to see her in the, um, you know, in more like in onesies and see, you know, the skin and stuff like that. Keep calling it skin because she's truly like, mommy's going to give this a push. Let's see how this is doing. All right. This is at least... <sighs> It's still, it's like barely moving. Hey, girlfriend, let's try. I mean, I, this is like cut a lot, but I'm going to give it a little more because I'm guessing 
I'm guessing because she has the open mouth. Let me snip even like a little piece out this way. I'm thinking because she has like her mouth is like partially open that um that it's just not given an, a, as much pull as if she had a if she had a totally closed mouth. So let's see how that does. If that does better. Like I didn't want to do it too much all at once because obviously once you you cut the the silicone on the nipple, you're not getting it back. So you know, but. I figured it would probably need a decent amount too. So I talked about, I think in the last couple videos, why I, I didn't use bibs for my children at, um, especially around in the, you know, uh, from newborn to probably until they started like cereals and solid foods. Like I would do the bib obviously for cereal, but not for bottle feedings because um, of those rolls of skin in the neck and the bibs always seem to, okay, now we need a burp. Now you're sucking it down. Now she's taking it. And you feel, oh, I feel it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we go in peepees. So, um, I would just use like a little burp cloth or whatever I had around because, um, uh, you know, the bibs would just get like, you know, caught up in the little folds of their neck. Like when you were taking them on and off, it caused, you know, friction and just, I don't know, the burp cost, you just have more control over to, you know, have in your hand in front of you and stuff, you know, for spit ups and, and things like that and could just maneuver it around. And I don't know, that's just I how I fed my my children <laughs> wasn't a bib, uh, you know, person. Like I said, once once we got onto solid foods, you know, then you need a bib. You got food uh, dripping down. And some of them are, um, you know, messy eaters and some of them are neat eaters. For sure, for sure. But feeding infants is always fun well they do reach that stage where they're swatting at everything like one that hype chair stage where they're, <laughs> they're swatting the the bowl goes flying the spoon goes flying they're grabbing at everything and and then they they're, they're shaking their head and no 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 and <laughs> that can be a challenge but um this stage is um uh was always um, it's get your, hang on a second. I can only see in, through the video, so I don't want to get her foot caught. Okay. Um, this stage, it, uh, was always very much, um, fun for me. Um, I always, you know, uh, had really great bonding time with my, my children uh, for feeding them. I did at one point or another um, breastfeed all of my kids, but I didn't like um, full-time uh, breastfeed. Like my first daughter, um, I actually at 19 years old, I had just turned, nine, oh no, I was still 18 when she was born. I was month shy of 19 um three days postpartum the night that we came home from the hospital i had a stroke or mini stroke tias um unbelievably um so that was like a huge scare and i was in the hospital and stuff and then it just became uh difficult and i tried getting a pa like it was just like a difficult thing for me and i was young and you know so i i did I tried and I had some feedings with her but you know we had that and then oh, let's see I forget with Noelle and Destiny there was just always kind of something I mean I didn't have a problem feeding them or like producing milk or anything like that in fact I thought yeah that was not a problem but um just for one reason or another um you know, I didn't like, I wasn't a total, <laughs> you know, natural feeding 
mom. Um, but I did get to have that experience with them. I don't know how much they benefited, but they do, especially the first few days, they, they get your immunities and stuff. I mean, they do benefit from any amount of, you know, breast milk. But anyway, I always used to try when I was bottle feeding them, like I would keep them very close up, up, up on my chest like this. You can't see my face, but you know, looking, having that eye contact with them, just keeping them, you know, just close up on me, um, you know, is how I, you know, would feed them when they were young. Cause it's, it's important. It's a, it's, you know, it's an important bonding process with your baby, um, you know, for new moms. So, um, you know, obviously the doll is not bonding back with you in any way. Um, but this is, this is fun. I'm really, I'm enjoying this. It was something I was really looking forward to. And you are taking every last little ounce out of that. This worked perfectly. I think it maybe went too quick, but I could just do slower. All right. We don't want to give you air and gas. Your mommy may have to get you more. Yes, mommy may have to get you more. But, oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. I got her chunker monker. She a junky baby. She is a junky baby. I am... I, I keep saying this, but, oh my god. I'm so in love with this baby. I, I can't <laughs> even begin to tell you all just how I'm um, just oh my gosh I, I'm just in heaven right now I'm just enjoying this so much um look at how amazingly real she looks yes you do baby girl you see your aunties you see your auntie she's just like you know what she has like this look of like such a relaxed look she really does. She's just um, a very content baby. Um, you know, just very, um, you know how, you know, you can just, you can look at a baby and you can see if they are a fussy baby or, a, you know, an easy baby. You can just tell. You can, well, I can tell. I know that. And I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about, but, um, you know, she just is just so, um, chill and, um, not demanding and just, you know, so relaxed. So it gives me that feeling of, I mean, like, I mean, I have, you know, with certain babies with reborns, like I ha love that energy and like my little Shay and Asir, like they can, they can get into some mischief and that fits my personality, you know, that part of my personality where I am getting that, um, you know, that kind of energy, but you don't want um constant energy like that you know what i'm saying so um like i feel like for, oh, for a baby that feels so real i think if she had a more of like a um a fussy kind of look about her personality i would be like stressy i would almost have that you know how your mind tricks you when they look so real like you're neglecting them if you're like leaving them there i i don't know if that makes sense and no i'm not nuts to anyone watching like i get it i totally you know they they definitely do not need you you know for anything and you know so on and so forth but i'm just saying it's just the feeling that you get, you know, um, off of a baby. So, yes, yes. So, she just, you know, makes me feel like, you know, she's, she's there for, you know, me to, uh, enjoy, but she's not demanding uh, of anything of me. I don't know. She's just so precious, you all. Look at her, look at at me. Hi, baby girl. Hi, you feel so good, you dummy foe. You dummy foe, yeah. You dummy foe. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
my goodness. I can't believe what the, 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 um, the pampers, the stripe turned green, like a dark green or like a turquoise. And it's all, it's all wet. I can't believe it. So I'll like get you out of this wet diaper. Let's make sure we're not showing any of your, your, uh, oochie farts. Yeah. Oh my goodness, guys. I can't believe it. Isn't that so cool that we got the first feeding? Yay! <laughs> and I'm so glad I came to do the... Oh, she's still dripping. <laughs> to the, uh, the... You know, I'm glad I came on and did this on video um, to share with you all. If I sound like distracted it's like I'm one of those persons that I can't like walk and chew gum <laughs> I can multitask in like chores and things like that but when I, I can't talk and multitask I have to be like you know I don't know there we go you're all nice and dry say aunties I did it mommy and me did it we did my first feeding a little bow is falling out this little bow is so cute Oh my goodness. On the top of her head there. I used to, my, um, my first daughter, Amber, and she was a chunkster. She was born with a, a full head of hair that I was able to put a bow in. Like her, her hospital pictures, she has a pink bow in the top of her head. <laughs> um, so I think that's so, so cute. Um, Tatum doesn't really look like her. Her body does, like her chunk does, but her face, like my daughter had, well, I guess the blue eyes, but my daughter had dark. Um, she, my daughter had brown hair. I, none of my kids were redheads, so she doesn't really totally look like me, although she does have the little Irish, uh, look and her skin tone. Um, is definitely uh, very similar to mine. Although you all know I really enjoy my um, my AA babies, but um, you know she's beautifully, beautifully painted. I and it just amazes me how um, Claire Taylor the it, the diversity in her painting, like the you know, the different skin tones and hair and stuff that she can achieve, that one artist can do all that, and it's all so amazing, is just, it's pretty amazing, it's pretty amazing, you know, that's, that's a lot of talent there, a lot of talent, so, all right, I am gonna go back to freezing, it is, it's so warm up here in this room, um, but in general, it is so very cold. <laughs> so anyways, um, I'm probably just going to keep her. That's why I didn't change her. I think I'm just going to keep her in this another night because it's just cozy and warm. I don't really have a lot of stuff for her. And, um, you know, it's good not to change them so much anyway, I guess. So that's that. She's going to stay all snuggly warm. So thanks for joining us for her first, um, her first feeding. And I really, I'm very behind now. I want to try to get on to do a live. Um, so I'm hoping to do that soon for you guys. And of course my reborns will be back, um, to all of you that do, uh, come and, and love my, uh, reborns. They, uh, it's, um, you know, Tatum has not replaced my reborns in any way. I do not love my love or, you know, um, I'm not enjoying my reborns any less. Um, I'm kind of more that way with even getting a new reborn where I spend a lot of time with the new baby. Um, that's just the way that I am. And then I go back to like leveling things out. Not that, I mean, she'll get more single attention than any one reborn I'm sure I'll be doing more things with her but what I'm saying is is you'll definitely be um still seeing my my you know my collection and all the babies that you all you know love so they are here they're everybody's doing good but right now I'm just focusing on like pictures and getting to know her so 
All right, everyone. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up for a little tater bug. And check and make sure you are subscribed and that you hit that notification bell. Did I say all that already? Ugh. I think my mind is frozen. It's that cold. I think I'm just frozen. <laughs> all right, everyone. Till next time. God bless.